Hey you guys, alright, this is kind of a silly little story that I wrote to help you guys remember the definitions of sine, cosine, and tangent. It is quite possibly the worst children's story ever written, um, so feel free to laugh or cry or whine, or love it, hate it, I don't care. As long as by the end of the story you know the definitions of sine, cosine, and tangent, I don't care. Alright, so. The exciting, ridiculous, and politically incorrect story of Theta and the Hippopotamus. Written by me and illustrated by Nicole Goldberg. Okay, um, because I can't fit the whole book on the screen, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the picture on the screen, and the text is up here, so I'll just read the text and leave the camera on the picture on the pictures. Okay. All right. Once upon a time, there was a Native American tribe called the Pythagoras tribe. In that tribe, there was a man named Theta. Theta did not think he was valuable to the tribe, so he moved away to Lake Trigonometry. Now Theta had three sons, sine, cosine, and tangent. Each of his three sons had different personalities. Sine was a whiner. He whined about anything. He whined about having to live with Tribe Pythagoras, and when they left, he whined about having to leave Tribe Pythagoras. Cosine always tried to be very cooperative. He always tried to help Sine see the bright side of whatever he was whining about, and he always tried to help his father make the most of every situation. <coughs> Tangent was always talking. Talk, 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 talk. The whole trip to Lake Trigonometry, he just wouldn't shut up. When the family got to Lake Trigonometry, Theta told his sons to wait by the lake while he set up their teepee. Sine whined about having to wait. Tangent talked and talked about the lake. Cosine tried to make peace between his brothers. Theta always built his teepees in the shape of a right triangle. He decided to take the spot in the corner for his bed and let his sons decide where they wanted to sleep. Once the teepee was up, Theta went to get his sons. Sine whined about having to leave the lake. Tangent talked and talked about what the teepee might look like. Cosine tried to cheer them all up. But when they got back to the teepee, a hippopotamus had crawled out of the lake and was sitting on one side of the teepee and was just chilling there. Theta threw his hands in the air and yelled, I just can't do anything right. Cosine tried to encourage his father. Sine whined about the hippopotamus. Tangent talked to talk about what the hippopotamus looked like. Then, just as they were about to enter the teepee, the hippopotamus took a massive dump right next to Theta's bed. Sine whined about the smell. He set up his bed on the side opposite the hippopotamus poo. Cosine tried to make the most of things and took the side adjacent to the hippopotamus poo. Tangent walked into the teepee, unsure of where to go. First he went to the opposite side and sat next to Sine, but he talked and talked and talked so much that Sine got fed up, got fed up with him and told him to go away. So he went to the adjacent side <coughs> and sat next to Cosine. He talked and talked and talked. Cosine smiled and tried to ignore him, even though he was really annoying. Between the smell of the hippopotamus poo and the constant talking, Theta felt like he was going crazy, so he stormed out of the teepee to face the hippopotamus. He found out that the hippopotamus was a talking hippopotamus, so he told the hippopotamus, you need to leave. You smell and you're causing all kinds of problems in my teepee. The hippo asked in a deep and slow voice, What's the magic word? Theta thought for a moment. Please? he asked. The hippo shook his head. Theta said another word, then another word, then another, and another, and another. 
Theta said every word he could think of, but none of them worked. So Theta asked, can you give me a hint? The hippopotamus said in a deep and slow voice, the magic word will teach you how valuable you are. Theta said, but I'm not valuable. I can't do anything right. In his anger, he kicked the hippopotamus, but the animal was as solid as a rock, and Theta hurt his toe. The pain was enormous, so he went down to Lake Trigonometry and soaked a toe in the water. In his delirium, he muttered, Sokotoa. Oh, there it is, Sokotoa. The hippopotamus heard what Theta said, and he left. Theta was confused, but he shrugged, cleaned up the poo, and walked back into his teepee. He told the story to his sons, and after a long time, they figured it out. This is where you get the word Sokotoa here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. -O -O By the way, it also lines up with where each of them sat in the teepee. And, if you know the magic word, then you can figure out the value of theta. The end.